Well, what was calm for a day yesterday, unfortunately, has become a pretty active start to the morning. So as we look across the Ohio County traffic cams, still noticing steady snow showers coming on down the spots like towards Elm Grove, and even as the US 250 interchange, both lanes are back open. We have been seeing some roads that have been a little bit more snow covered, like Washington Avenue. Still notice how I-70 is just one lane, and as you get on I-70, that hasn't really been cleared. That's just tire tracks. So highways still in fairly good condition, but know that spots of I-70 might be down to just one lane plowed. So if you have more of a back roads or a parking lot, that's likely not going to be cleared just quite yet. The main focus is going to be the main roads, so your highways and your state roads, especially early on this morning. Because of the snowfall, we still have a winter weather advisory in effect for most of us until 10 a.m. tomorrow, and even a winter storm warning in effect for Tyler and Pleasants County until later on this evening and into tomorrow morning as well. The only difference though between those two is a winter weather advisory. Going to see a little bit less in the way of snow. Impacts not as severe, but with that winter storm warning, likely hazardous to dangerous impacts from tr for traveling, likely covered roads throughout the day. But for us, most of us in the advisory expect to see accumulating snow. This likely means roads remain slick, especially back roads and sidewalks will be covered throughout the day today. And any snow squalls we see later on this afternoon likely will reduce visibility pretty much close down to zero. Might not even be able to see the car in front of you at times, but that's going to be between lunch and dinner time this afternoon. But currently 23 here in Wheeling with our cool spots of 21 up into Carrollton and down into Woodsfield, but as warm as 24 down into Moundsville. So if you have a snow day, we're able to stay home from work. Still can get outside and enjoy any snow that has fallen. It's just unfortunately not a very packable snow. But if we go outside to enjoy it, definitely want to stay bundled up as we stay in the 20s throughout the day today, but noticing our wind chills in the teens. So coat, hat, and gloves, not a bad idea all throughout the day today. But in terms of snowfall, though, we're seeing a little bit of break from the heavier activity, anything well off to our south. But as we head deeper into the morning, notice how those bands start to pick up, especially as we head towards 8 a.m. west of I-77. That crosses over where we'll see some heavier snow showers that could give us another inch up until lunchtime. But once we head towards noon, the widespread activity itself moves on out and have the potential for a few snow squalls to set up, especially east of I-77. Just knows how narrow those bands are, so not everyone sees them, but anyone who does know that those are going to pack a punch. This could bring gusty winds, heavy snow rates of up to an inch within even 30 to 45 minutes, so expect reduced visibility down to zero and pretty slick roads if you see any of those snow squalls. But by 5 p.m., snow squalls move out. Just we'll have to deal with a few lake effect snow showers overnight tonight and into tomorrow as well. But anything once we get past sunset this evening, likely just going to give us really a dusting at most. But in terms of totals, most of us should expect about three to four inches. Spots like Shockton and Zanesville might see just two to three. And even like Moundsville down through Wetzel and Tyler County, Good chance to see four to six inches, which is why there is that winter storm warning, since you could see a little bit more. So expect accumulating snow and expect roads to be slick throughout the day today, maybe even into the very early morning hours tomorrow. But once that goes by, we get rid of the snow and we see sunshine return Sunday with temperatures back into the mid 20s. 38, mostly sunny for our day on Monday before we see rain and the 40s return next week. So 40, afternoon rain showers for our day on Tuesday. 46 scattered showers likely for our day on Wednesday, then 47 with a few spotty rain showers for our day on Thursday.